great turn up for me. Oh yeah, how are you? I wasn't sure whether you were coming today or not. Yes. So. Castle, our yeah, governor, Andrew Thompson, yeah. should have been here. Oh, yeah? yeah. It's good to see he's working. Yeah. yeah. So here's here's news items from the news today. Yeah. Your, yours will be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. Sesh coming in. Sesh. How are you? Good. Stuart Ayres, the Minister for yeah. Sport and, and, and Trade and Tourism. Yeah. And of course, um, um, potentially the rights holders to the FMA for oh, yeah. the Championship. So, oh, thanks. Hi, Renner. Do you want to I, jump I'm in, mate? Yeah. Why don't you jump, jump in the... Sashin, so oh my God, did Satish, Mayor Um Without his partnership, uh, we wouldn't be here in the, it, with the energy that we have. So rather than me rattle on, I'd like to pass over to a man that uh, we sat at a table over a year ago, and um, he expressed his undying love for the two-wheeled vehicle and what it could do for our region. And uh, from that discussion around that table, um, we are here. So I'd like to hand over to the man, Graham Boyd, please. Thank you, Will. You did that so well. Yes, um, obviously I've been involved in motorcycles basically since I could walk and about 30 years of racing motorcycles. There are a few uh, injuries uh, slowing me down along the way. Um, and then of course, uh, indulging my passion even worse by selling them and passing the, the, that uh, on to an awful lot of other Novocastrians. Anyway, in 1984 I went to America to a, a race called the Superbikers in Carlsbad and uh, I just knew this was a, an absolutely perfect event for Newcastle and I wanted to bring it uh, back to Australia and it took uh, until 1991 until I could run the first Supermoto in Australia at Eastern Creek in Sydney. I took it down there because I thought, you know, it was absolutely a perfect location. You'd fit heaps and heaps of people and it'd be the right location. Uh, but unfortunately, the RAF put on a uh, race meeting at, uh, oh, sorry, an air show at Richmond and 300,000 people went to that instead. I ran another one in Sydney in 1993 and unfortunately it rained all over Sydney but not on the racetrack. Um, so I learnt my lesson, stay out of Sydney, come back home <laughs> and bring the race meeting back. So. I did exactly that in 2005, I ran one out at the Cameron Park go-kart track, but I really wanted to put it on the streets of Newcastle, and um, very fortunately that uh, Newcastle City Council accommodated me last year, uh, we did an awful lot of, of work um, to get it right, and um, now I wanted to take it to the next level, so I'll pass over back to the Minister to uh, tell us all about the next level. To be honest, I, I am anticipating running for two. By the third, by the third year, um, I'm, I'm hoping it to be around the world. Yeah, that's what we want. Can you can improve, you can do it well. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah cool. Good stuff. Get a little sound check. We'll get a sound check from you, Graham, first, if that's possible, please. Yeah, three, two, one, go. Yep. Good go stuff. We're on, Graham. Um, because this is a pretty big event here in Newcastle. Oh, mate, absolutely. Now, I actually think it'll probably be one of the biggest motorsport um, events in Australia this year. In terms of the event, what can you tell us? Well, it will be round one of the FIM Asia Supermoto Championships. It'll be held on the Father's Day weekend in September 3rd and 4th. And we're looking at at least 20 international competitors coming to, uh, to Newcastle to um, show how good they can ride motorcycles. Well, it's shown that you can host the event before. Yes. What is this? Is this any different or is it just a higher caliber of, of riders, more riders? What's the... Well it's a higher caliber to a higher standard. Um, for example, we'll have Boris Shambon, a former world supermoto champion coming. Uh, so, you know, we're really going to have a, a great race meeting, that's for sure. You said 20 international riders, yeah? Yes, 20 internationals. We'll have 10, uh, 10 plus from Asia, uh, plus there'll be the former champion or last year's champion, Chris Hodgson from the UK, Lewis Cornish from the UK, and Boris, there's a yeah, big crowd. In 
terms of, um, we've heard the numbers, you know, go around, it's, uh, it's plenty of visitors, tourism, and it attracts a lot of people here, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it's proven from other events like the MotoGP and the Speedway Grand Prix in Melbourne that more than 50% of the visitors are from out of the state. So yeah, I'm looking to at least 2,000 motorcyclists to ride to Newcastle. No, yeah, destination New South Wales. Don't know what hit him yet. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> we can't wait. When um, this is a huge sport now, isn't it? Uh, uh, it is. In well, well, just motorcycle in, yeah. in, in general in Asia. You know, Bangkok, 12 million people, 4 million scooters. You know, like it, it's, it's certainly bringing the Asians to town is a great thing. Plenty of work ahead, but I'm looking forward to September. Absolutely, yes, mate. I've got to, uh, I've got to clock off from work a little bit and, and set a, f a fair bit of time across to this. Good stuff. Looking forward to it. Anything else you need to get across? Are you right? Um, no, mate. We're, we're fine. Happy? Yeah, Done. Cool. Thank you very much, as okay. always.